Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. This will be the second video of the entire series that I'm going to create for Microsoft Sentinel. And in this video, I'm going to explain what all you need to get started with Microsoft Sentinel. Fundamentally, any Azure subscription cannot exist without an Azure Active Directory or Microsoft Entry ID. So the very first step that you have to keep in mind is that you have a directory, then you have a subscription as well, an Azure subscription. Fundamentally speaking, whenever you go ahead and create a subscription, an Azure Active Directory is created by default. But still, it is very important for you to know these aspects because when we are going to integrate Microsoft Azure AD with Sentinel, I'll explain one more component in a lot more detail and then these things will be relatable. So the very first thing that you need is an Azure subscription. Now the question is, why do you need it? Since Microsoft Sentinel and various components which Microsoft Sentinel uses are typically Azure resource and for that you need an Azure subscription for resource creation and billing. Now once you have a subscription then you can go ahead and use Microsoft Sentinel. However, again enabling Microsoft Sentinel requires you to have a contributor privilege at least on the subscription level. Now. This is something which I have already covered in my last video that Microsoft Sentinel uses Azure Log Analytics Workspace. So how exactly the flow will be that the very first thing is to get an Azure subscription, then go ahead and create a Log Analytics Workspace because Microsoft Sentinel uses Log Analytics Workspace to ingest and analyze data for detection and analytics. You need to set up Log Analytics first and then you can set up Microsoft Sentinel. So step number one, get the subscription part sorted, then you create Log Analytics Workspace and then onboard Microsoft Sentinel. Now, these are the set of locations or let's say the actual region where you can set up Microsoft Sentinel right now, as well as Log Analytics Workspace. Now, the, this is actually very important because at times you may end up having compliance requirements to keep data on in a specific region altogether. This is the link which I will be sharing in the description of this video as well. Before setting up it for your environment, please go ahead and visit this link. Now there is also one more very important aspect related to Log Analytics Workspace and that is while you are setting up Microsoft Sentinel resource lock must not be applied in the workspace. Now, practically speaking, resource log is a kind of a feature which is available in Azure for Azure resources. Now, fundamentally, log analytics workspace is also an Azure resource. So make sure while you're setting up Microsoft Sentinel for a specific workspace, you should not apply resource log. Now, there are multiple scenarios in which you can set up Microsoft Sentinel. Okay. Now assume that your enterprise is Concepts Work. You have one single subscription and you have one single Microsoft Entra ID. The process will be exceptionally simple. Just go ahead and create a new resource group. This is step number three. Step number four, create a log analytics workspace. And in this particular workspace, set up Microsoft Sentinel. Now there could also be a scenario where you have two different subscriptions, but they both trust one single Entra ID. In this case, you can choose any of these two subscriptions and you can get a resource group created, get the log analytics workspace created and then onboard Microsoft Sentinel. Now the scenario can be slightly different when you have requirements like uh, saving data in different regions altogether or you have let's say some compliance requirement or some business requirement that the billing sh for two let's say child companies should be different okay or subsidies should be different and there are some data separation requirement there are some cost implication these are multiple scenarios wherein you want to keep data separate you want to keep everything separate but assume for this scenario as well you have one single subscription but then since these are two different environments that you have to set up. So in this case, in the same subscription, you can create two different resource group and you can create two different instance of Microsoft Sentinel by choosing different regions altogether. The other scenario can be 
you have two different subscriptions and they are already located or let's say they are already in a different region altogether then for each subscription you can go ahead and set up a microsoft sentinel instance for example in my first subscription i'll set up a resource group and then i'll set up an instance of microsoft sentinel and for my other subscription i'll again create a resource group and then i'll set up microsoft sentinel now all these scenarios were possible because we were using one single microsoft entra id the moment we talk about multiple azure active directories or the moment we talk about multiple directories or tenants altogether you need azure lighthouse which is again a solution and with this you can manage typically multiple instance of microsoft sentinel now precisely speaking this kind of architecture is typically used by mssps or let's say the companies which provide mdr as a service or let's say if you want to provide mdr to someone you can also use this solution which is azure lighthouse okay so this was all about knowing what all resources you need to get started with microsoft sentinel what are the different scenarios to set up microsoft sentinel in the next video i'll show you how to set up and configure microsoft sentinel and how to get started so if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community thank you so much thanks for your time